Good afternoon, and thank you for being here with us today. My name is Ludmilla, and I co-wrote this poster paper with Akihiko Shirai and Teresa Kaguchi. Today I will be talking to you about a Web3D Life Distance Workshop for Children in Mozilla Hubs. I would like to begin this presentation with an overview of the states of the art. We develop a step-by-step -step method called Sugoroku that I will explain later in the video. We also develop a method for controlling the spatial order system in Mozilla Hubs. Our goal was to study how children could navigate a virtual environment with other children during a collaborative learning experience and develop a new method for live asynchronous e-learning. Suguroku so is a name given to a traditional Japanese board game invented several centuries ago. There are two forms of Suguroku, one similar to the Western backgammon and the other one identical to our snakes and ladders. Both variants of the game are famous for their network organization. The board is divided into distinct zones, play one after another. In other words, the player has to follow a particular path to achieve their goal. We adapted the network play system of Suguroku to Web3D conference spatial design. We designed the virtual environment into three zones. Zone 1, introduction and character design. Zone 2, scenario design. Zone 3, filming area. Once your step was completed, kids moved to the next zone. To advance to the following zones, kids had to finish the zone they were in. The virtual environment was designed to adapt to kids' different participation speeds and needs. One of the issues in hubs is crosstalk. In the network social VR, such as the one used for this workshop, people can hear what is being said on the opposite side of the same virtual world while talking, which could be a nuisance. We use linear in panel node instead of inverse as its default mode to resolve this crosstalk issue. Pana Node is a spatial audio model available in Spoke. Spoke is a scene editor provided by Mozilla Hubs. The audio volume was adjusted based on the distance between dynamic moving users. The speed of volume reduction was also controlled. The essential conversational voice was set to a linear model and the endpoint of the attenuation was set to 50 meters, which was based on the radius of the zones. Kids could speak freely and the crosstalk issue was resolved. From August 8th to August 16th, Kids Workshop 2020 was organized by Mori Buildings in Rapongi, Japan. This year, there were 36 workshops of 24 different types, online and offline. Kiriba Studio Lab participated in the Kids Workshop 2020 with an online workshop in Hubs called Let's Study about live entertainment production in web VR. Kids were offered to experience cutting-edge live entertainment production using the Mozilla Hubs and while wearing a 3D avatar. Kids could make VTuber-style videos with the researchers and creators from all around the world. The event organizers selected 14 participants per session aged between 9-year-old to 14-year-old. Participants were selected from the public. There were 7 male and 7 female participants. We created a Mozilla Hubs environment for this workshop. Mozilla Hubs is a web-based application that teaches 3D virtual rooms accessible through the link that is generated by the room creator. Zoom was used as a technical support channel at the workshop's entry and for observing participants' faces. Kids connected to Zoom and the staff guided them to the virtual venue. Once they arrived in Hubs, the workshop staff taught them how to move, change their avatar and name. Children were then separated into teams and encouraged to discover the virtual environment with their new buddies. In hubs, the participants were greeted by the workshop staff. The kids then followed the team to each zone. Please enjoy the short digest of the kids' workshop. いけるかな。もし難しかったら、はい、これトロクさん聞こえているいかがこれていかがあのかさい。はい、聞こえてます。はい、オッケー。え、じゃあ、えっと、そうですね。ちょっと音の環境良くない人もいるんですけれども、え
<laughs> we implemented the Sogoroko method and the spatial audio design for another workshop held shortly after this one. The Blender workshop took place on August 27th and September 24th. There were approximately eight participants per event and the Sogoroko method was implemented to learn how to use Blender in 3D space. At the end of the workshop, there was a Q&A session using screen sharing. Not only did we develop a step-by-step -step method called Sugoroku, but we also reviewed the spatial audio system in hubs. Moreover, children learn how to navigate in a virtual environment during collaborative learning experiments. Thank you for being here with us today, and we wish you a great year. Bye!